it's yeah. Friday, uh, Beyond Deck. Uh, yeah, it's Friday. And, and we're looking yeah. forward to the weekend. Uh, oh, yes. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, building blocks and that and um, the Newton theory and, and bricks as well. Right. So we're going for a little walk and very interesting topic. We're going to talk a little bit about the flat oh, earth. Yes. Oh, and it's yes. brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, I must move on. Enjoy your tea. Here we go. <laughs> now, I must apologise, it's a bit noisy. Um, but Sir Isaac Newton, that was a bit of a lie. Uh, they teach you at school that an apple landed on his head. Um, so that's a lie, you know, because it didn't. It landed in his mummy's garden. I don't know what he was doing there. He maybe should have been getting a job or something. I don't know. But um, there is an interesting fact about Newton. Uh, yeah, he did make the cat flap, which was pretty cool. But also, um, in the building term, we, we have something to do with bricks and blocks and that, and they're, they're based on their Newtons. So let me tell you a bit more about that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you um, a concrete block. So I'll show you this concrete block. And here they are, some concrete blocks. Now, these bad boys are pretty heavy um, because they're very dense. Uh, you know, a little bit like me to a, to a degree. I've got enough brains to be simple. But that's concrete and it's got a very high Newton level. So there are your concrete blocks. Um, now, amazingly, their Newton isn't as high as these things. These are dollies. They're made of concrete, but their Newton level is even higher, so they're much more solid. I'm not even going to try to pick one up. And um, over here, we've got some really nice little light ones. Let me show you. These, I don't know if you can see them, are called Fermilites. I'll get you a better angle, because I know it's, you're going to be really excited about this. Here is a Fermilite. Um, it's extremely light. Maybe that's why they call them Fermilites. Uh, as you can see, it's got a lot of air in it, so the Newton level is rather low. Um, so that's a Fermilite, very exciting. And, um, and lastly, what we've got down here is an old London brick. Now, this is really exciting. Um, it's, it's sort of in between, it's not concrete, it's um, made of another material, um, you, know, you know, mud or clay or something exciting. And it's Newton's uh, relatively sort of mediocre, you know, so that's really exciting. So, basically, um, the only thing that Isaac Newton really done well uh, was make a cat flap. Now, talking about Newtons in, in the building game, as I say, this is a concrete one. He's pretty heavy. Um, there's reasonable Newtons in there. Uh, now, we've got this little dolly made of concrete. This bad boy is even more dense, so... That's impressive. Uh, we've got this brick, LBC brick. Uh, what more can I say? It's, it's mediocre on the old Newton, so you know, I think I mentioned that. And then you've got this Fermilite. Wow, look at that. So light. Not many Newtons, not very dense, a lot of air. So there's a little thing you've learned today. And it's good to learn these things. But um, yeah, Newton, Sir Isaac Newton, I mean, come on. It's staring you in the face, really, isn't it? Um, the answers are all there. Go to a building site and check out the buoyancy and density of, um, well, density of blocks and bricks and dollies and other sort of things like that. Uh, whereas wood would be a little bit more buoyant. So let's see if I can um, find some water. It's quite hot. I'll see what I can do. So, Dave, I'm just looking for a big pile of water there, sir, so I can do my experiment about buoyancy and density and about Isaac Newton being a fraud. Ah. Do you know where any is, my friend? There's a big bowser down the bottom there of water. Is that good enough? Yeah, that would be all right. Can I stick my hand in it? You should be able to. Excellent. Thank you, Dave, okay. very much indeed. Thank you, sir. That's brilliant. That's Dave. Thanks, Dave. Let's go and find some water. Hey. Oh. Well, as you can see, we found some water. we just turn that on. Now, I don't know if you can notice, but it's not floating very well uh, in the water. Now, if we get a brick, a nice new brick, that doesn't float very well in the water either, um, because basically it's too dense to float. So that's definitely something that you need to take into consideration um, with water and something that's too dense to float. So here we are, and today what we're going to do now is we're going to show you the failings of gravity by using buoyancy and density. Now we've discussed Newtons and the, how a brick can be more compact, it's more stronger because it's tighter with more Newtons, something like that. 
Now here we have concrete block. You know, it's let's see if it floats. It didn't do too well on that one. Now we're going to go for a dolly. Now this is more concentrated. Let's give it a go. It might float this one. Unfortunately, it's too dense and it doesn't float. It sinks. Now we're quickly going for these last two objects. The wheelbarrow doesn't float very well, unfortunately. Um, but that, the last object I was going to put in was that piece of wood. So as you can see, that's floating. Let's try a brick. Doesn't float very well. And lastly, a thermalite. Brilliant. So as you can see, I'm going to try to rescue the wheelbarrow before my boss finds out. But that wood floats because it's less dense, you know? So that's brilliant stuff. Well, that didn't go according to plan there, Dave, with the wheelbarrow there, did it? No, that's okay, though. It proved that the wood floats, you know, that's, that's something. Right. Oh, sexy little pecker out. Right, uh, you can go for it if you want there, Davey. Are we ready? Unfortunately, Get the wheelbarrow out. Oh, nice. Oh, it's nice. Oh, I can feel it. Damn, I'm right on top of it. I'm gonna have to re attempt it. Oh, right, you might want to cut that there, Davey. Ready? As you can see, this wheelbarrow doesn't float very well either. Now, it's quite a hard procedure, um, but I'm going to attempt to pull it out now. Oh, oh my word. Come on, baby. Yeah, I've got it on my foot. Uh, eh, eh, Yay! I've, I've done it. My, my boss will never know. And that's how you, um, Test buoyancy and density compared to gravity, which is a load of rubbish. Awesome. Okay, Davey. I'm Dog Boy Malone, and I'm here to expand the knowledge in your mind. You could even put reality as we know it. That would do me. To expand your mind and to tighten your grip on reality as we know it. Wow, there you go. That was another episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. And if you didn't, feel free to and watch it again and again and again. Now tomorrow I'm going to my allotment, which is gonna be really exciting, because we're gonna talk about vegetables and stuff like that. Also other very interesting theories um, on, on other matters. Uh, and of course, you know, what can I say other than come and join me tomorrow and enjoy the allotment with me? Because it's gonna be absolutely magnificent. Anyway, till then, take care, be good, God bless, and goodbye.